Hello YouTube, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to make a pyramid out of a regular set of 216 buckyballs. So the first step is to make the very base of the pyramid and uh, what you want to do is get a strand going of uh, your buckyballs and what you're going to do is, here's the first step, take your uh, strand take uh, the strand and wrap it around one until you get a hexagon with a ball in the middle and then you're going to wrap it around like this um, and as you can see here you have two three four three and what you want is two three four five six five so you're gonna keep wrapping it around like that and once you get to this um, hexagon, what you're going to do is put two on top like that, two on the side, and then two on this side. So you kind of get this triangle without the edges. And as you can see here, it goes two, three, four, five, six, five. Um, I'm just gonna add some more balls to my strand. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next step is to uh, take your triangle and then connect the buckyballs uh, to the side of the edge and you want to put it down and then once you get to um, the corner of your triangle you're going to put your nail right here and you're going to count seven balls so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven you're gonna take that seventh ball and you're gonna put it on the other side where this ball is. So it's gonna go like that. And this is what it should look like. On this uh, corner, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. So count seven, I have seven, place it like that, boom. But on this last one, you're only going to count six because you already have one here. So three, three, six, and here. Perfect, so you should have something that looks like that. Uh, you can put that aside. Uh, next, we're going to be making something that's exactly the same, but one size smaller. It's going to go two, three, four, five, four. So let's begin the process again. Make a pentagon with a ball in the middle like that. And here we go. Uh, a little too many but here so you perfect so you want to have two three four five four and um, you're gonna wrap it around with the seven around the corners seven balls around the corners exactly the same way so here we go put it next to the edge three, four, so you have seven, like that, three, four, seven, like that, and then the last one, you're going to do six, just like we always do, so you should have something like this, and you can see that this one's a little smaller than that one, and you just want to keep them to the side. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly the same thing that we've been doing, but this time it's going to go two, three, four, three make your initial hexagon with the bones in and perfect so you just make this little shape and then you add two to the top you should have something that looks like that and i'm gonna get a little more balls in my line perfect and then you connect it to the side put it down um Count to seven, three, seven, and then same thing, count to seven. And then the last one you count to six again. Perfect. So now you have that, and we're gonna go one more size smaller. So here's, now we're gonna do two, three, two. So this one should be very easy. It's your initial um, hexagon with the ball in the middle. 
This is what it should look like. Let the camera focus. Uh, okay, so two, three, two. You can put that aside. So now we're gonna start assembling the pyramid and the first step is to pinch uh, any corner so that it uh, becomes a perfect vertice and then pinch a corner on your next biggest size. And you want to make sure that these go on top evenly. So what you do is uh, you wanna feel that uh, this thing is repelling a little bit that means everything is perfect and then when it, the tip propels a little bit that means it's gonna go down perfectly so you put that down like that and it should connect perfectly um, at this moment uh, the edges are not gonna be straight but in the end we'll fix that and it'll look perfect next you pinch a corner on your next size and you want it to again kind of uh, repel but in the end it should connect perfectly like that boom so as you can see this is what it looks like uh, and I know that these look kind of ugly but we'll fix that uh, so the next step um, this is going to be a little bit different what you're going to do is you're going to take your strand of buckyballs or zen magnets whatever and you're gonna per try to make a um, perfect outline perimeter of the ball of the balls but um, one size smaller so that this piece can go perfectly in the middle so you place it down and we're gonna go this way just like that and you might have to remove a ball and then but that's perfectly fine okay so here we go and this looks to be about right you want to pinch this so that you can see yeah mine's perfect size and then you take your um, pentagon with the ball in the middle and you want to place it so this middle ball right here connects to the two uh, two balls on the hexagon and perfect and you just drop that down and that's what it looks like um, so next step uh, get your line going and you want to do the same thing you can pinch the edges to try and straighten them uh, but next you're going to do the same thing we did uh, again we're gonna wrap it around the perimeter this way like that Put one ball there, and one just like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, I just need to remove one from here, and perfect. Okay, so you can push this together a little bit so it's more even. What you're going to do now is take three, three balls like that, and you're gonna push them together into a little triangle and this time you want uh, one of the balls of the triangle to go to the middle piece right here so I'll show you up close hopefully it zooms in okay perfect here's what it's gonna look like nope I have to flip mine place it down like that and boom so here's what it looks like it should look like that um, next what you're going to do is you're gonna take nine balls so here I have nine and you make them into a circle like that put them down on your hard surface and press the edges to make uh, this triangle right here and you're gonna put it onto the top and I have to flip mine over Bloop. didn't quite work as well as we hoped, that's okay. We can just improvise a little bit and make that happen. And then you're gonna take three more and place it around and boom. And you squeeze it together and it should work like perfectly fine. And then you're gonna take one ball and put it, um, Put it right on top of the small triangle that we made. Bloop. And it should go right in the middle. Put it 
doesn't want to, which is okay, I guess. Okay, well, it fell down. That's all right. Um, now you take uh, nine balls again, make them into a circle, the same as the last step, push them together like that. And you want to put them on top of your pyramid, how we've been doing. And I have to flip mine over, I believe. Okay, so now I flipped it over and it should perfectly go on top. And you want to squeeze it a little bit so it fits nice and well. And then just kind of push the creases on your edges together like that so that it straightens out and as you can see our pyramid is starting to take shapes and the end we can fill these holes uh, so now the next step is to take six balls like that push them together same as last step but with only six uh, bucky balls push them together into a pyramid um, like this uh, and then you're gonna put them on top again uh, I think I might have to flip mine over you know what I'm just gonna try and lay it using the perimeter technique and the last one okay perfect and I just have to push these in a little bit like that okay perfect and then you take three, three buckyballs, make them into a small pyramid, uh, put it on top, and I have to flip mine over, which is perfectly fine, probably will happen to you guys. Here, I flip it over and put it down just like that. And then the last step, uh, take one last ball and obviously put it on top to finish off the pyramid and uh, You want to press on the edges to fix the creases and then flip it over and you have these three holes left So take from your remaining buckyballs take three and then just fill in the holes like that uh, Perfect perfect So here you go guys you have successfully made your buckyballs pyramid it looks really good. Um, I, this is one of my personal favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please um, send me a comment on the video. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. And peace out, guys. Until next time.